Your beat is uh, intensifying. <laughs> How fast are you going into turn one? Mm -hmm. It's usually about 100 miles an hour. And if you don't turn enough and you go off-roading, there's trees to meet you <laughs> at the other end. What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to the Sub Tip Club channel. Uh, today, we're here with uh, Sun Bo. Uh, welcome to the channel. And uh, you used to have a crazy S2000 that, uh, uh, that you did time attack with, right? Yeah. And uh, that car is uh, out of the picture now. And you have this beautiful, beautiful CR, yes. original CR. Um, before we show the car, uh, would you mind uh, talking a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. And I've been driving, track driving since I was pretty late. It's like 20, 23 or 24. Okay. Yeah. No, wait, 25. 25, wow. Yeah, I think it's when I really got into it. Mm -hmm. Like before that was like very light duty, like I think like 2011, so I was like 21. Uh -huh. I was just doing like maybe one track day a year, you know, because I'm poor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I we, think, we were all there. Yeah. Right? So 20, 21 got into like cars mm -hmm. pretty late. Mm -hmm. um, didn't really get into um competitive stuff until uh -huh. like 2016. How, how were you always into cars as a as a kid no child? no uh i had a cousin that uh he was into cars uh -huh. um he had a s13 or something okay. when, when when i was in like middle school high school okay and didn't really rub off on me you know uh, i was just kind of like the the, the gamer type yeah, so I yeah. just grew up around computers uh -huh. and stuff and I think like that that competitive aspect of it is what kind of grew it into driving I see. on track I see. um but yeah cars cars came really late for me though. I see. yeah for wow. most people it's yeah it starts really young yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah so what was your first car the two 2000, 2001 Honda Civic. Okay. Yeah, so reg, regular, Civic. regular Civic. Yeah. It, uh, was it tuned? No. 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 It's, it's, it's just stock. some some beater. Didn't even have a radio. <laughs> so uh, your first track day, how, uh, which car did you take? Uh, first track day. I think that was Miata. Miata. 2011. Okay. Yeah. So you Pretty just sure. uh, owned a Miata and then decided to just try it out? I had an S1000 before that, oh, okay. that I took to, the, to autocross yeah, yeah, a couple yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. And then I, uh, I decided to like, quit the job I had then. And I was like, oh, there's no way I can afford this keep, like, to keep the S1000, so I'm going to sell it. Yeah. So I sold it and then got the Miata. And I learned that the Miata had to do way more maintenance mm. so there's a lot more upkeep because it was an older car you know it didn't go through at, uh you know as much like brake pad and tires yeah but things went wrong yeah it, <laughs> you know other things just went wrong and it's like just like made it worse to own than an s1000 which was a higher value at the time mm -hmm. you know i've had three personal s1000s okay yeah okay. they're all model year 2000 oh. and they're all silver stone yeah Odd. Yeah, you know why? Because no, you know why? It's it's, it's the because least it's the least popular color with the cheapest. You know, because it's older. First year, right? first year yeah, is yeah, the yeah. cheapest uh, yeah. configuration. Yeah. Gotcha. You know, it's, it's you know back then it's like it's a car nobody wanted. Like now, it's like that car now would still be like twenty k. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, so now you own this shop uh, called uh, Formula S and you work on majority S2000s. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we, we do, you know, you can buy that car. We <laughs> were putting, you know, we did some mods to that CR and it's, it's uh, you know, getting getting nicely done and uh -huh. owner likes to keep it that way. I, I would love to buy S2000, but, but the price nowadays is- just, Yeah, that, that one is really it. high. <laughs> yeah. It's really high because yeah. it's a very, very low mileage and Extremely clean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it looks brand new. Eight thousand miles. I think it's eight thousand. Yeah, eight, eight or six thousand. What does that work now? Uh, we're asking sixty-five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Yeah, it's a yeah. uh, two thousand nine. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the newest one you can get. 
Yeah. Oh, we, we'll show you guys in a minute, but I mean, I can see the undercarriage and it's, it, it's, it's immaculate. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, do you have a dream car? Dream car, yeah. Uh, I would like to have a 911 GT3 RS oh, one yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Uh, any variants of the paddle shift was yeah, fine. Yeah. yeah. I don't care too much for having high hor like extremely high horsepower right. and a, a, a regular gearbox. Right. Yeah. Um, and as much as everybody thinks that is like really cool. Uh, the it's, horsepower. The horsepower oh, and like yeah. uh, shifting the, the gear, gears. rolling through the gears. Yeah. It's, it's another thing to try to learn how to um, to uh, use both both feet. Oh yeah. Dude, One on the brake. Yeah. Left yeah, foot yeah, brake. Yeah. yeah. That's right. That's, that's a whole nother skill you, you should learn if you that's get the true. chance. That's true. Yeah. Um, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, talk about your old car, your, um, the white one, mm -hmm. the race car you had. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your PB with that thing at Button Willow? Uh, I did a 49, uh, 1 minute 49.1, uh, I think. It's yeah. incredibly fast. Yeah. Um, how, how much power did it have and how much did it weigh at that point? Um, on the dyno it had 400 and 260 something pounds of torque. Yeah, yeah. yeah. around there. Yeah. Um, and it weighed, when I did my PB, I think like 2650 at, at its lightest was 26 flat, I think, or 2550. Yeah. And that's when I had the, uh, the carbon doors on it. Oh. Yeah. But I did the, the 49 at the heavier configuration. What is your uh, favorite track and why? Favorite track? I, I like Button Willow for what it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I, I love um, the Ridge. The Ridge, Ridge Motorsports Park, yeah. yeah. It's a lot of elevation changes. Elevation changes. Um, there's, a, there's also a very high sense of danger because mm -hmm. of um, how fast you're going into turn one. Mm -hmm. It's usually about 100 miles an hour. And if you don't turn enough and you go off-roading, there's trees to meet <laughs> you at the other end. Not good. So it's, it's pretty scary. Like it's The whole track is surrounded by trees. Mm -hmm. So if you were to go off in a high speed uh, section, you're more than likely gonna run into a tree. Got it. Yeah, Got it. it's uh, and it just looks the you know just the, the facility feel. Yeah, it just, yeah. It's a new track, so yeah, everything yeah, is newer. Yeah. Um, but like the weather is usually always good. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, as far as like the summer and you know their track season, mm -hmm. um, and trees. Yeah, I yeah. I just. Uh, you know, coming from Buttonwill is like you don't right, you don't get yeah. that many trees and yeah, I, I grew up in Washington State, so it's, yeah. it's very green. Yeah, uh, you know the climate is really good during the summertime. It's beautiful, right? Yeah. All right, son. What are we looking at? So this is the shop's uh, CR, uh -huh. and it's a 2008. Uh, I think they only made them for 2008. I'm not sure they made them in 2009. Is that the last year of the? Yeah, 2009 okay. is the last year you can find. Gotcha. Yeah, so that. <laughs> yeah. This one's uh, really nice, really clean. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what's been done to the car? Um, so this car was purchased a long time ago, mm -hmm. and it was, you know, <laughs> what you could get then. Uh huh. You know, it's this was still considered a steal back then, <laughs> but. Now, if we were to sell this car, we would have to uh, ask for quite a lot of money. But um, it has 160. Oh, oh. <laughs> the Euro beat, Euro beat is uh, intensifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So 168,000 miles. Okay. Of car. Okay. That's the original transmission and the original engine. So. Nice, nice. And. Uh, I think everything uh -huh. that you usually would touch is brand new. So this this oh, wow. dash is new. The door panels are new. Uh -huh. The center console. New meaning you replaced it, right? Yeah, we okay. replaced it. Yeah. And 
the well let, let's start with the interior since okay. uh we're looking at this beautiful recaro yeah so this is a recaro rms uh carbon fiber oh my version. god <laughs> yeah it's a really stiff seat you wouldn't want to daily the <laughs> i mean you could if, yeah. if you have like the comfort level for it and is um, that pattern uh, a special version because i've never seen it like this yeah so that's like a, a recaro pattern right right i forgot what it's called uh, tomcat, tomcat. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so that's the original one over there i think yeah so you can't get this pattern with the rms uh -huh. we we got this done oh yeah. got it got it that makes sense yeah. wow. so we just gave them that and like uh -huh. hey match it it's not exactly the same and the color is a tiny bit off but, uh -huh. you know when you're when this gets a little bit dirtier you probably can't tell the difference jeez this is beautiful and do the seatbelt usually come in yellow like that? No, we okay. also got okay. this done. It's yeah, yeah. It's just to to go with a little bit more of a color scheme. Wow, it's beautiful, man. Yeah. I'm screaming money. Yeah. <laughs> and it's the uh, we replaced the factory hardtop with um, the Mugen carbon fiber. It's authentic Mugen. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so usually, when if you're looking on the outside to see it's real or fake. Uh huh. Most uh, the, uh, the the replica ones don't have this little, little dimple. Notch okay. Both sides. What is that for? Uh, it's just the way they made the seal, I guess. Gotcha. Um, okay. It doesn't really serve any purpose. Okay. Um, it's just something to look out for because uh, when you see the seals on um, the replica top, mm -hmm. they're very just like there's like no extra rubbing or anything on gotcha. it. Gotcha. So it's just straight. Yeah. Okay. Wow, <laughs> so nice. What kind of uh, steering wheel do you have? This is a Sparco 330 mil steering wheel. Okay. Um, and with the, uh, I think that's the NSXR type, or NSX Type R uh, horn button. Okay, cool. Yeah, and uh, the works bell hub and or spell tilt. Nice. It's a little hard to get out in and out with this bucket seat. So clean. <laughs> and you have done uh, sub two in this car. Yeah. So in this car, not with these tires. Uh -huh. uh, we did on um RE seven one R. Okay. And those are the only ones were old as well at the time. Uh huh. They were just been on the car for years. It's incredible because not many cars can, I mean, nowadays a lot of cars can sub too, but yeah. something built back in uh, 2008, 2009, uh, you just change the tires and then boom, you have a sub two car. I yeah. mean, obviously you have to have a good driver, but yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible. Yeah. It's, um, even, even the new Supra, it's, it was hard to go sub two mm -hmm. when it was factory. It's just a pure weight. Thing. Yeah, and yeah, then the tires yeah. from the factory are just undersized for the weight of the car. Mm, gotcha. So it's really hard to lug it around. Is this a special carbon as well? Yeah, so that's uh, a Mugen car. Oh, jeez. Right? <laughs> yeah. so Man. It's, it's actually lighter than OEM, which is, you know, aluminum, right? Yeah. yeah. So you can really nice carbon. Like the edges are very sharp. Yeah. Usually when you look at the uh the bottom the bottom yeah is where you can they, tell the quality yeah, right yeah they just uh give up <laughs> man so nice okay um the engine is wow it's immaculate yeah <laughs> so stock stock right yeah, yeah. um 100 percent 100 percent stock yeah. yeah stock airbox too yeah man airbox don't even have a catch cam. <laughs> yeah. Even a stock battery. Okay. Yeah. And uh, these are what? Olin's? Uh, yeah, so okay. those are Olin DFEs. Okay. Man, that alternator like looks brand new. <laughs> well, maybe it is brand new. Alternators get changed. Yeah, uh, that one is brand new. Okay. Yeah, I think... Um, the, the the mileage and the time is uh, right right makes them go out and you just have radiator yeah so okay. it's a, a coil radiator, radiator. Yeah. okay 
stock then, bands stock bands okay yeah so we, we try not to deviate too much on this car from a factory because we already know it can do sub two yeah with just the factory stuff yeah but now whatever we're doing is just to try to make it um easier to repeat yeah and more reliable i mean reliability is already there so yeah it's so, easier to repeat. Yeah, we're, mm -hmm. we're keeping that OEM reliability with this car. Yeah. And the um, comfort level is a little bit on the stiff side mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, because the, the spring rate we chose for these uh, coilovers uh -huh. are upgraded. Oh, and, is it? Okay. Yeah, so they're 14 14. 14 14. Yeah. What do they come with? Uh, they usually come with 10 and 8. I see. I think, yeah. I see. But uh, I prefer a stiffer ride for a track. Gotcha. Just to control the, the body roll yeah, yeah. a bit better. Yeah. Um, but obviously you want to have a good tire choice for that spring ring. Right, so right. AO5. Okay. And uh, uh, these are some big money uh, endless kit, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is the Mono 4. Okay. For okay. The, uh, S1000. Uh huh. It's a very, very good kit. Super stiff on the pedal, easy to bleed. Uh, and we're also running the uh, endless brake fluid. Okay. Yeah. And this is not the uh, the aggressive pad either. Okay. What kind of pads are these? This is just the uh, I think C C. I forgot the name of it, but it's their street performance pad. Okay. Yeah. And you never had problem. Uh. I I can still get it to perform well, uh -huh. um, but the bite isn't quite there. What you want, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially for these tires, uh -huh. with like a, a less grippy tire. I see. Uh, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, because you don't want too grippy of a tire, and always, and you're always engaging ABS. So, when you step up your tire, you can step up your your brakes. Gotcha. Yeah. And I is this. Normally amber? I don't remember. Uh, on US cars, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when they're clear, it's like uh, it's locked out. I but see. All, all the US cars have it. <laughs> amber. And just uh, all stock outside, right? It looks like. Uh, we yeah, pretty much. The only thing is the hood, hard top change, and this uh, new. Uh, RGO uh, little duck bill spoiler. Oh, nice. Yeah, so this is a new new company. It's kind of like the K1 Lab. Uh -huh. If anybody's seen those, um, but it's a little bit of a more sleek profile. Got it. That looks good. And uh, what kind? Are, are those? They're not stock, right? Exhaust. Uh, the exhaust. Yeah. That is the ASM. Oh, okay. Uh, single. Gotcha. I forgot which model. I think the Euro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And since we're here, <laughs> well, is there anything else that I, that we need to cover on this car? Um, I think it just has the we we're running the um IKEA formula uh front upper arms. Okay. For more uh, clearance to fit the uh nine and a half. Gotcha. Uh, plus fifty uh -huh. uh, offset. Okay. And it's just it's just for mainly aesthetics because I don't like the front tire poking out. Yeah. Past the fender, like visually, uh -huh. it's not very pleasing to me. Uh huh. Yeah. But it there there are some tweaks I can do to make the car handle better with it. Gotcha. This... I did that and it's. Kind of like voodoo magic sometimes. I see. Because yeah, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> is it okay if I yeah, open? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want to show the seat one more time. Well, this one is a different seat, but it's such a beautiful seat. <laughs> wow, it's so, so clean. Yeah. So that's the that's the brand new um, finish on the door panels. So usually when you see a older S two thousand. Uh huh. And they've gotten um, like cleaned with a a leather cleaner. They uh -huh. get really, really shiny. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah. They'll they'll start to you know have this sheen. Yeah, of, yeah. Instead yeah. of this matte. 
gotcha. which is the the um the dash uh the, sorry the airbag uh-huh that is still the old one so you I can see. see like there's a slight difference yeah i don't know if you can see it on the on the camera or on your screen but yeah there's a little bit of difference i mean i could live with it but obviously some can't Yeah. And it was like really obvious when we didn't do the, the door. Doors. Okay, yeah. gotcha. And it was just like, oh, when you close the door, yeah. you can see this blend, and then it's just like, oh, oh I yeah. see. Yeah, it bugged you, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it will be like a lot, a lot darker, uh -huh. and it's just shiny. Got it. Yeah. So this car belongs to Chris, uh -huh. and he bought it a couple of years ago and just pretty much parked it. And, uh, He's, wow. he's always talked about it uh -huh. and because it's always been parked at his house uh -huh. you don't really know it's there oh <laughs> yeah 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 it, it, it's one of those things like he's always talked about it. it's like i've never seen the car before though <laughs> so until he brought it here and it's like oh you actually have the car yeah. this thing's so clean yeah, so you can still see all the factory uh paint markings on like every bolt under here <laughs> usually that stuff is like uh corroded away or yeah yeah uh, just like scraped off from use so this thing is for sale yeah, yeah okay. wow <laughs> it's so clean And this one is uh, CR2? No, no, oh, this is just uh, an 09, okay. the customer's car. Moving wheels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one's, this one's uh, got a little bit of use. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got the uh, evasive uh, extended diff uh, mount cover. Okay. Extra fluid capacity in there, help with the cooling. And this is the undercarriage of like a car, you know, you shouldn't be worried about buying. Right. Yeah. Alright, I just gotta ask you one, uh, two things. Mm -hmm. uh, the first question is what does sub tube mean to you? Mm, that's a good benchmark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I think once you get there, you'll either see yourself, oh, that's it, that's all I need to do, mm -hmm. I'm done. Or you'll, you're, you get the itch and be like, okay, what, what's the next one? <laughs> right, the next one is 155, and then the next landmark would be below 150. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and last question is, what things about life do you learn through cars? There's always more, and you're always gonna have to fix something. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right, uh, so you guys uh, heard Sun's story. Again, we're here at Formula S uh, Sun's shop. If you have an S2000 or anything else, he's very knowledgeable about S2000 especially, but I'm sure you work on other cars. Uh, check out his shop and then um, follow his story, follow his journey. Thank you, Sun. Thank you.